Good God. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So today, it's a very exciting day because today we're gonna be doing welding. Yeah, we haven't done welding yet on the channel, so I'm very excited to get into that. But first, let's talk about what we're working on. Well, of course, you may already know because if you watched the first part, but basically in, um, in the previous video, what we did was we built this. We built this little table is shelf kind of thing, which is going to be set up right here by the electric stove next to it. Um, but I'm, I'm not just going to build like normal table legs. I want to actually mount this on the wall. So that's why we have a wall bracket in two dirty, grimy um, brackets that go on the wall bracket. So yeah, we're gonna be cutting this one up uh, into a perfect size. So so we have one on both sides. Then we're gonna be putting the angle bracket, or the, well, I guess, yeah, kind of angle brackets onto this. And then we're gonna be welding them onto here because of I do not want this table wobbling. This table's gonna be made for meticulous work and I don't want that table to be wobbling all around uh, all around the place. So that's why I want to make it as secure as possible. And then we'll figure out how to uh, actually screw it into this. So yeah. But yeah, let's start off by grabbing the angle grinder and cutting this thing up. Man, I'm telling you, I am going crazy not being able to leave the shop. I mean, sure I could, but I mean, it's just so grimy, shitty and icy and cold outside then I just don't feel like doing it. Every time when I think, all right, today I'm gonna do some projects outside, I just look outside and see all the snow and fucking ice and I'm just like, maybe not today. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so I think what we have here, this right here seems like the about the middle. We'll have to grab a measuring tape and measure this out. But that is perfect on this side because we have two places to put in screws, but on this side, there is one area to be, uh, we have one area to put a screw in, but not a second, so we'll have to uh, make another hole over here, so we'll do that as well. It's perfectly 80, so 40 should be... 40 is right there, and that is the perfect length. We'll be needing you, Mr. DeWalt. Easy enough. Kind of spooky, isn't it? I remember the name. They're off. They're off. Good. All right. Gonna be on top right actually no i can't have it it'll look ugly i know that this is kind of sticking up from here but i'll have to put it that way because otherwise if i put it like this it's gonna cover the screw hole and i won't be able to get it in so you know that that's what happens when you don't plan but yeah okay, i think that should be pretty good so now we'll have to expose the raw metal and then we can get to the cool part which is the welding part so yeah so I might as well take this opportunity to real quick talk about the welder that we have. I'm moving all this stuff away. So this is our MIG welder right here. Um, we have had this for a while already um, and it's worked great. It's been a really great, nice welder. Um, it's not the strongest and it's definitely no like pro grade welder, but for like a ho professional homeowner who just w does welding um, like once a year and stuff like that. You can't go wrong with this. I believe it was about $150. That was a bit more than that. But for that price, you get a very, uh, you get a decent um, welder that's gonna do all your small projects that you want. So yeah, that's the welder anyway. It's a MIG welder, so the actual stick comes out and you don't have to insert the sticks. We do have an actual like stick welder, so I may show you that in a future video, but we're not welding anything too heavy today, so we're gonna use this. I think it's actually freezing Cenus, or below minus Cenus. There's, uh, well, there's that coming out of my mouth. Hat off, <sighs> welding mask on. 
All right, we're ready to go. Actually, we need gloves, but then we're ready to roll. Ooh, damn. What was that? Hmm. It seems like we're getting somewhere, though. I think it attached itself. Again, I'm not a professional welder, so uh, you're looking at a man with uh, the very limit of his expertise. Welding is definitely not something I'm good at. Now yes, I will admit it's nothing pretty and you have free range roast me in the comments. I mean, this side turned out okay, but when we go to this side, that tells the rest of the story. Yeah, I mean, this part is kind of, I'm not gonna actually put my fingers close to that, god damn it. I mean, this part right there is like okay, I guess, but this is all like, ugh, man, make, a professional welder sick anyway yeah so let's get to the next one and then we'll attach it onto that wall we got a pillar right here and we have another one right there so that should be perf the perfect amount of space so i think we're gonna set this first one up maybe at this height a little too high for seating so hmm. I must say somewhere along the lines of that. What do you think? I think that ought to do pretty good. And yes, this wall is a huge pain in the ass, so I'm gonna drill first through it, and then we're gonna start putting in the screws. Don't trip, don't trip. Would you look at that? I'm actually surprised, I'm actually surprised that that worked on first try. Usually it doesn't, so. Well, anyway, I'm happy. All right, let's put in the second screw and then we'll figure out the other side. That's attached. Now, let's find out how this looks. Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like that a lot. But we do need to cut these down though, so we'll do that next. supposed to be like that they're still sticking out just a touch so I'm gonna smooth those down man that is nice anyway so hopefully you all enjoyed this video so um, yeah we still have a bit more to do on this um, we still want to add some type of uh, smooth like maybe like a rubber or something which we want to screw onto here then I still probably want to attach it all to these brackets but all in all, like the table is standing now, and it's actually, like, it's surprisingly sturdy. I, I wouldn't be surprised if that would actually hold my weight if I was gonna sit on it. I'm not gonna test it, but I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, that's very nice. We got it right next to the stove. Perfect, I love it. Anyway, hopefully you, you all enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.